Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, we will discuss a major problem that I have been getting request to solve this problem. So the problem is that why PG agent is not working on another database other than Postgres database in PG admin or PostgreSQL database. Okay. So basically, we will cover that first and then I will show you how to schedule a job in PG agent on another database that is other than Postgres okay so let me first show you what happened when uh, we schedule jobs using PG agent okay the first job that I have scheduled here this is for as I have named it Postgres DB job because this pos this job will be running on Postgres database okay so this is very easy one and what I have done I have created one EMP tab table and I'm inserting this data into the EMP table okay and if I show you the data I'll be getting records from EMP table okay so lots of record I have been uh, getting into this table because I have scheduled this for to run every minute okay the same thing I have done in DVD rental database as well I can show you the table is also there okay in the DVD rental database okay first let me tell you this is my DVD rental database and this is Postgres database okay so as of now we have been seen that uh, all the pieces in jobs that uh, we schedule that run good and well in Postgres database okay even if we mention DVD rental database or other database that doesn't work okay so in this probe in this video I'll solve that but first let me show you how I have done the setup to uh, show you this example uh, if I go to DVD rental database and show you here also I have employee table okay and if I show you the data from employee table okay see there is no data in the EMP table of the DVD rental even if uh, I have scheduled the uh, job for this okay I'll show you this one so this is the DVD rental job where what I have done I have done the same thing but here I have chosen the database as a DVD rental if I show you the code the same thing I am doing okay but it's not taking that one so why, why is it so okay so for that let uh, we need to understand the PG agent so the first reason is that PG agent when we install it gets installed with Postgres database not other database okay means uh, we can say that uh, that maintenance database which maintain all the details of uh, PG agent uh, see whenever we create any schedule job so some data are created okay uh, the details that we say metadata metadata of uh, schedule jobs so those are stored somewhere so that uh, database that schema gets created called PG agent that gets created within PG sorry within Postgres database that PG agent schema okay so that that is the reason that we get uh, when I query from the Postgres uh, database uh, I'll get this data okay the say uh, job ID 2 is for Postgres and the job ID 3 is for DVD rental I'll show you that as well so these are all the data this is PG job here I can show you that ID okay see uh, the job id 3 is for dvd rental and job id 2 is for postgres db job here we can see both of them okay so now here also if i show you from the job step it is mentioned the database okay so database is okay the database is also mentioned here uh, i'll show you okay here the code of each step and here the database okay in one is postgres and in one is dvd rental that is the other database than postgres so what is the reason uh, the first reason that uh, we got to know that uh, pg agent if i query any of this uh, any of this uh, in dvd rental database uh, you will see i will uh, get error that uh, this doesn't exist see uh, i'm getting error that pg agent uh, this relation doesn't exist because as i told that this pg agent schema gets created within postgres database that is the maintenance database of the pg agent jobs okay so uh, for this one uh, for this query the to both the schedule that i have created i'll show you their logs okay in this table logs are getting uh, printed so see uh, th as i have scheduled both the schedule jobs each minute to run see every minute these are getting run okay so we are getting error for one and 
no error no output for other where we are getting no output if you see closely you will find that that is the one for dvd rental database uh, sorry uh, where we are not getting any error that is for postgres database see this one id2 as i told that job id2 is for postgres db job and 3 is for dvd rental database so for everywhere you if you see uh, for dvd rental i am getting error that it says uh, couldn't get a connection to the database okay so what's the reason for that uh, first one i have already explained so now uh, we'll discuss about the solution that is how to schedule job in PG agent on another database other than Postgres. So, in the previous video, I have already covered the topic of uh, something called DB link. Okay, and in that video, I have explained uh, clearly what is DB link and how it can be helpful uh, for our various work and how, especially, especially when we'll uh, come to this topic that uh, for scheduling any PG agent jobs that to be run on another database other than postgres database so there we'll use this technique of db link okay so now what i'll do everything is ready everything will be same same thing but i'll create the db links okay so for the db link i have already prepared that video i'll not explain all those things but i'll just uh, recap that uh, through uh, the steps that uh, i had covered uh, in the last video Okay, so uh, these are the script. I'll suggest you to watch that video. I'll give the link uh, in this video description and the uh, iCard button. From there, you can also view that video. That is highly recommended for you. So uh, this way, first I'll create the extension for the DB link. Okay, the DB link extension is created. Now this is something called uh, the server that for a foreign server that I'll create. Okay, so I'm not explaining again these things because I have already covered these things in the previous video. Okay, I'll give the grant for that server to use the Postgres and then I'll create the mapping of my user and then I'll check the connection. Okay, if I check the connection, it's it returns. Okay, that means we are able to connect. So next step is to uh, create the table and select data from table, which we have already done. And if I select data from table, uh, I'll get data. This data is getting uh, fetched from Postgres database. Okay. Okay. So to work this, what I'll do, I'll make some basic changes and I'll use the DB link. I have prepared all the things to work it. Now what I'll do, I'll change the script. Okay. So here you need to carefully change a few things. Okay. Go to steps and go to edit. First change this one change the database from dvd rental to postgres make it default and then go to code section and here in the code section i'll i have to use the db link uh, execute query okay so instead of this one i need to use the db link query okay so what i have done here so for the, before that what we need to do is we need to first connect the db link okay this is the process to connect the db link the connection will be established and then we can execute the statement okay so this is how we use the we execute the statement using db link that is the insert into query okay this way we write this so we make two changes and then i can save this one okay so my data is saved now now if i go to the database and i see data okay still there is no data now i'll run this one do run now so that it will run now in the ad hoc mode now see i got data here okay so this way we can make it work like uh, we can insert data into other database from uh, other than postgres database okay so and if i show you here the job log as well as i had shown you that we you we are getting error but this time if i show you uh, we should not have any error for the job id 3 see this is the job id 3 so until here we were getting error but now we are not getting error and our data are getting inserted so in this video we saw the example of insert statement using db link and how we scheduled our job for postgres database uh, sorry in pg agent other than postgres database okay so subscribe my channel 
channel to get the notifications for upcoming videos and if this video was helpful please do like the video and share with your friends and subscribe my channel to get the notifications so let's meet in the next video with uh, another example of uh, this uh, technique of db link and scheduling jobs in that i'll explain you how to do it for stored procedure or function or com complex uh, things so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye